sneaky sneak shot. Oh shit. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of Nine Alpha Twenty One. This is the Dead is Dead series, and uh, we lost our life in only the second episode of Life One, uh, which really sucks and was unexpected. But it is what it is. That's the way this uh, series goes. So we're gonna start up all over again with Life Two. Dead is Dead Life Two. We're gonna continue playing on the Navisgain X Twenty One map. Let's get all this stuff set up. Uh, we want insane difficulty. We want ninety. Uh, minute days we want 32 horde enemies everybody's on nightmare barrel sense is on at night 200 percent xp and no uh no loot respawn timers i've actually forgot to turn that off in the first live but it doesn't matter because that life's gone now oh and no airdrops either okay so uh let's get started up here i'm gonna just go through the uh opening uh quest and I'll bring you guys back uh, once we get to the point where we can spend our first four points. And then I think what we're going to do is uh, it's probably going to spawn me in next to that POI. So we'll probably poke our head in there and just get the loot out of there as quick as possible. And then I think we're going to go straight to the trader and um, get uh, uh, the first job from them rather than try and hit a bunch of POIs up first. So we'll try that this time around and see how things go. Okay, so we finished uh, the quests. I have uh, found uh, I found a uh, skull cap and some padded leg armor in the duffel bag that's uh, sitting right over here. Well, I guess the duffel bag's gone because it disappeared when I looted it. Uh, so I got that stuff. Uh, let's check the mailbox here. Okay, we got a seed magazine. Um. Let's get, well, here, actually, we'll leave that there for the moment. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to quickly uh, check in this house here. Let's see what's in the trash. Uh, we'll take that. Don't care about the rest of that stuff. We've unlocked tier one cotton. Let's grab this wood here really quick just because it's quick and easy. These wood piles give you a lot of wood, and it doesn't take quite as long uh, as it does, you know, cutting down a tree. So we'll do this. Okay, we got that done. Uh, let's check this trash here. Oh, nope, don't give a shit about that stuff. Check this trash. We'll take the bones, because we are going to need to make ourselves a bone knife as soon as possible. We'll check this, and we'll take all of that. That's pretty good. Eh, what the hell, let's harvest this chair too. And then uh, after we did this done... We'll do our four points. We'll do things just a little bit differently this time than we did in the first episode for the points. Uh, so we are definitely going to take, from the shadows, uh, we are definitely going to take deep cuts. Um, we're going to go to fortitude and take cardio. And then I think what we'll do is we will go back here and take archery. Um, now, I am going to prioritize, and I'll probably do this on the very next point uh we are we're also still going to take uh in the strength tree uh, master chef too but uh, i wanted to get these other ones first because that'll give us some um, a little bit of a leg up uh with combat right off the bat here okay so um let me see here i want to make a couple more uh building blocks we have seven there i like to have 20 of these on my toolbar. So we need to make another 13. Uh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Oh, I already had them. Never mind. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're going to put that there. So we just have to worry about this side of the door. Okay, so once again, um, I think there's a Zombo actually in the kitchen there. Uh, here, let's get our torch out. Okay, we got some shoes. We'll wear the cowboy boots. Look inside of the duffel bag here. Oh, very nice. Okay, yeah, that was a good find. Check the trash. I don't think there's any Zeeks in here, but we do have the medical cabinet and a potentially for water. Oh, and a clothes pile on the floor, too. 
Okay, we'll take that. We'll take the water, hopefully. Okay, and whatever medical stuff is in here. That's pretty nice. Okay, we'll take all of that stuff. Uh, two of those magazines. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, yeah, we'll take it. Oh, we got a thing here with a sports bag inside. And yeah, we'll take those two. Those will definitely come in handy. Okay, I think there's a Zeke in that kitchen there, but here's what we're going to actually do. Let's close that door. We'll come around to this side. Yep, there they are right there. And deal with them from here. As soon as we uh, have the opportunity, we need to make ourselves a bone knife. Beautiful. Okay, so that takes care of her. Um, any chance we can get a cooking pot? No, no cooking pot. Damn it, Jim. All right, check in here. Coal. A lump of coal for Christmas. Oh, well, we got some steel arrowheads. Not that that's going to do us a damn bit of good. Can't make them until we get the, the skill for it. All right, let's ditch this. Let's ditch this. Uh, we can make some more stone arrows out of those feathers that we have. Uh, let's get rid of this for now. We don't need to hit carry that. And I'm not going to carry the coal around either. The nails are questionable. In fact, you know what? Let's scrap those nails, but we will keep some scrap iron with us just because we come across it so frequently. Very good. Okay, so that's it for the ground. Floors are safe behind there. Not this time. Not that it matters because we couldn't open the damn thing anyways if we wanted to. Well, we could, but it would take us a long damn time. All right, last time we were in here, there was a Zeke in that room there. Probably going to be the same scenario. Robots and Stubatons are grade 20% slower. Okay, not really what we wanted in the early game, but if that's what we get, that's what we get. Anybody in here? Yep, here comes a friend. Pick that up, and we are done with, with that, dude. Seems like we've done this before, right? Oh, nice, we got a little shirt there. We will take that, and I guess that's it for this room. Let's take a quick look in here. We got the duffel bag with those and another medical journal. Fantastic. That thing is not lootable. Okay, we are done here. Uh, might as well pick those back up, eh? Okay. So the next thing we need to do is get enough bones to make ourselves a kniffy. Let's start working our way towards the trader. And we'll be on the lookout for gut piles or chickens or whatever we need. Uh, to make that. Let's go loot this car and see what it's got. Zika Ruskies should start showing up soon. Um, and, you know, the further we get away from our spawn zone, the quicker they'll show up anyway. We'll take those two things for selling. Do we have... Yeah, we still have plenty of room. We don't want to get ourselves encumbered as the thing. Let's put this down here and... I guess we can put that right there. Just so we have maximum space. We've got another car here we can loot. And a trash thingy. Okay, that gives us enough bones to make our kniffy. It's a beautiful thing. Let's slide everything over. Got it. Okay. Wow, look at all that shit. Um, we'll take this to sell. That stuff we don't need right now. Can't do anything with it. We could sell it, but it just takes up too many slots. Okay, let's hit trashes and bird's nests along the way. If we come across a chicken or a rabbit, we will attempt to um, steal their life away from them. Okay, we have our first Zeke, a Marlene. Uh, we'll scrap that. I'm going to actually take that cobblestone. We could potentially put it to use. Uh, there's an Arlene over there, too. But like I said, let's just hightail it to the trader and not get too terribly sidetracked. Okay, we've got this little camp here. 
Um, we're not going to do the whole damn thing, but let's see if we can loot a couple of things. I'm not 100% sure, but there might be dogs in this place, which, of course, is... Can we sell those? Yeah, we can. Gas isn't going to do us much good. Uh, shrooms aren't going to do us much good. Yeah, we do not want to run into a dog right now. That's just not a good situation. But we will check this food pile. Look at that. All right. And a red tea. And a miso, which we'll actually take right now. That was a pretty good find. Should we dare to... I think there's a zombie right there. Well, that could be a corpse. Should we try and get to this double bag here? If something happens, we can bail out through here. Um, those have better cold but less heat. I'm going to take both of those, but we're going to sell them. Check this stump for some honey, and then we'll continue moving towards the trader. No honey. There's a Ronnie McDonnie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be just a little more careful this time around than we were with Life One. <laughs> Got a little reckless. But I mean, you know, the whole thing with us getting trapped in the closet, that's just bad luck. I don't think I really made a tactical error per se. Some of you might think that I did, and that's fine. You can. But uh, that was just some bad luck. That's all there is to it, man. There's a chicken, but he spotted us. Okay, let's see what's in this truck here. Nothing. Nothing we give a shit about. Uh, we'll take that. Because if we find a vitamin, we can eat it for food. 38 stones is pretty nice to have. Hey, look at that, ravioli. Um, let's just eat that now, because we could, could use a little more food, and we do need to... Save space in our inventory. We'll take the stone. Okay, we've got a zombadoodle down there. And one down this two. Alright, let's just poke our head into this house real quick. We're just looking for the kitchen and mostly because we want to see if we can find ourselves a cooking pot. Downed opponents suffer 50% more damage from power attacks. Okay, so we could we could do spares. I'm not opposed to it. They're pretty good in Alpha 21. My very first playthrough of Alpha 21, we did spears, and I liked them. Okay, let's grab this. There is a zombie right out. Oh, cooking pot! Yay! We got a cooking pot, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna leave that clay. Let's get out of here, because there's a sleeper around here somewhere. We got what we came for, that's the important thing. Okay, let's go. How in the hell did it get to be noon already? All right, fantastic. Well, we're already further ahead now than we were in the last uh, with Life 1 because we never did find a cooking pot <laughs> before we were killed. So this is good. This is very good. Uh, we got a Marlene over there. Again, we're going to try and be a little more cautious this time. Void when possible. At least in the very early game here. Nope, not going to take any of that shit. Lockpicks probably? Nope. Cash. We'll take cash. Cash is good. We'll take a pipe. Okay, we got somebody's attention. Do you see us? You see us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
come over here, let the bleeds do a number on her. Beautiful. Check this backpack. Handguns. All right, good. Uh, we got thumped a little bit. Let's take both of these. Um, that'll free us up a slot. Oh, we are encumbered too. All right, let's just repair this and then we're gonna ditch that. Okay, let's go. Got 150 meters to go. Okay, let's do the usual looting outside first. We've unlocked the Dew Collector. What a wonderful day. What's your inventory? Okay, so I'm gonna sell you all of those. I'm gonna sell you those. That, those, the iron, that, the cash. Keep the plastic and the pipes. We're gonna need that for the dew collector and uh, the scrap boots. I'm gonna sell this to him too, um, just because it'll make us too thirsty if we do if we did take it. Sell him the nails, the boots. He doesn't want the bones, uh, the corn seed, and the paper. He doesn't want those either. Okay, so that gets us 384 coin. Um, all right, let's go to food. And we can buy three water from him. That leaves us with 24 coin, but that gets us five water. Okay, I think that's pretty much where Gratitude. we're at. Thanks. Now, Travel let's take a job from him. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we don't want to go south because that's where the burned biome is, and we don't want to mess with the burned biome. We could go west, which will take us back towards the lake, which is fine. Um, southwest is probably, probably going to take us into the burned biome. So yeah, let's do this clear Can you here. Help me with my problem. Mushroom mining company. Well, alrighty then. All right, so we got let's our first job. Very good. So uh, the next order of business, besides doing that job, is to figure out where we're gonna live. So what we could do here, let's get up in this tower actually, so we can have a bit of a lookout. There might be something up here to loot too. Uh, yeah, there's an ammo pile. Oh, and a nice chest. Ooh, nice iron arrows. We'll take all of that stuff. Uh, let's switch this to iron arrows for the, for the moment. Okay, so if we go east, we'll, we can, we get to that little town that we were at before, again, uh, with, uh, with those POIs. West will take us back towards the lake. Uh, with some options, you know, for us to to do a base. Yeah, why don't we why don't we go ahead and just go back to the west? I think. Just run away from that guy. And before we do this job, I'd like to I'd like to have a figure out where we're gonna base up. So that'll be our next priority here. Uh, 
we are getting close to leveling too and when when we do I'm gonna take that master chef point we could I guess we could take over that house but it's pretty close to the trader but also you know close to the lake with all the POIs and stuff Oh, there's Marlene. Let's kill Marlene so we can see if we can get that last point. A couple more bleeds on you. Okay, that should kill her. We'll just run away from her and let her die out. Just want to make sure we're not running into any other baddies. There, she's dead. Did we loot this this vehicle? I don't remember. We didn't. We did not. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I This is not necessarily at all my idea of a dream home. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's located in a good spot. So I think... We will at least initial. Oh wow! Look at that. We one shot at her. Well, two shot if you count the arrow that missed. Uh, I think we'll at least start here. Um, which means we are going to have to clear it because there was there was a, a sleeper in here somewhere, probably. Right there. Oh, we got an Arlene. Can we close this door here? Sneaky sneak shot. Oh, shit. Where did that growling come from? Oh, crap, it's a lumberjack. All right, he's a little bit tougher. We're going to have to be careful with him. Let's get some bleeds going on him. And we'll just um, see if we can light him up, too. That's kind of a nasty zombie to throw at, this, throw at us this early. I see he's a tough son of a bitch. There he goes. Okay, he did. Okay, we got our next point. And as promised, we're going to put that into Master Chef. Check these for clothes. Uh, what are we currently wearing? Yep, yeah, that's definitely an improvement. Uh, there we go. We got some perception shades. And it looks like that's it for in here. Don't think there's anybody in here. Check the toilet and the medicine cabinet. And that's it for in here. Okay. I'm not really too worried about the ground floor. Um, we're just, we're going to live upstairs. You know what I think I am going to do though? In case we need to retreat again. Let's put a door here. Oh, I guess I could have used my land claim block, but that's right. Um, we want to put that. Oh, I know what the problem is. Whoops. This stupid sill thing's in the way. 
Well, you know what? That'll work too. <laughs> Looks like shit, but hey, it'll be effective. Okay. Now, let's see if there are any more friends upstairs here. There's a magical pile in there. Okay, and yeah, there's a friend. Down on the wall so you guys can see. And me too. She did. It should be it for in here. There's nothing parent to loot in here. There's possibly something up on those boards, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, I'll bet you there's something up in that attic. I think we're clear. Uh, yeah, clear here. No, look at that. Very nice. Uh, let's put this down here for our emergency. Use. Bird's nest up. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this upstairs area our our initial base. And uh, I mean, I'm not really too terribly concerned right now with repops, but let's just put this down anyway prevent any repops. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to secure this place from Zeke's being able to get up here. And I think what we're going to do too, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut out this, the two stairwells up here, get some storage going, kind of get situated, and then we'll start the next episode by... Um, going and doing this first job so with that being said thank you everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed life two of dead is dead and we'll catch you in the next episode bye